Yo, what's up guys? Totally dubbed here. And today I is gonna be flashing Darky Rom V7, yeah? It's based on Android 4.1.2. I don't know why I just put that on. Because I might be singing Drop It Like It's Hot, but flash it like... Anyway, I'm flashing over a Darky Rom V7 and I'm gonna give you a quick overview. I just wanted to show you that I'm on Omega Rom, which is on V33.1, which is on the same base, XXELK4. So I'm gonna go enter recovery. Uh, I can enter recovery straight from the ROM, but if you haven't got a, a custom ROM but you've got um, Clockwork Manager, you're going to go up, home and power key and then enter recovery. So I'm going to do a full wipe um, and I'm going to wipe my SD card. So first of all, wipe data. Remember, do a backup and also make sure that you back it up on your uh, PC or your external SD card or, or similar. Um, you can go advanced, you can wipe down with cache, you don't have to do that, but wipe it. I know someone was uh, worried about that last time I made a video. So install zip from SD card, and what I'm going to do is wipe my SD card. So, format SD card. Now you're wondering where is the ROM, well it's on my external SD card. If you do not have an external SD card, don't do that, or else you'll be left without any sort of ROM on your SD card. So what we're going to do over here is go into the external SD card and as you can see I've got Omega ROM over there. Always keep a backup of a ROM which is currently working just in case anything goes wrong. Keep it there. But I've got Darky ROM V7 over there and I'll flash that. So we're going to flash it like it's hot. Flash it like it's hot. As Snoop Dogg once said. I, I'm pretty sure that was his exact words. He just got um, Oh cool, he, except uh, he got the, the words wrong and he went to drop it like it's hot, but he knew what he was singing and I had a call with him last time, so anyway. So we can go full installation, typical installation and custom, so if I go to custom for example, you can choose what you want in or out of your installation. So here you go, for example, you've got a um, selection of some stuff. Um, I'm going to go for custom installation rather than full installation. Uh, full installation installs everything. Bloatware, remove bloatware, wouldn't install all this bloat. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and choose what I want and don't want. As you can see there's a lot of stuff I don't actually need. So no boot sound, yep. No lock screen rotation, yep. No scrolling wallpaper, yep. No volume up, down as shutter. Yep, no music skip. Um, so you might not get this option of no music skip, but um, Gamma and myself will be uploading a mirror to this ROM and you'll have this option. So usually you, you will not have this option of no music skip, but uh, in this video, as you can see, I do have it. So I'm gonna leave that on. Basically, um, uh, I should do that one. No music skip is, um, uh, if if you want to skip a track, usually your long hold um, your power, your volume keys. But I don't actually want it to skip because um, I just find it a little bit annoying sometimes. Lock screen rotation, basically on your lock screen, if you turn, it's gonna do that. No scrolling wallpaper. I'll actually have scrolling wallpaper. Why not? Uh, boot sound, self-explanatory, and there we go. So there you can see all my apps that I've chosen, uh, chosen and not whatnot. Press next, and it goes ahead and installs. So it'll go through your um, through the apps it has to install, and then it'll go to rebooting. Right, so you can see it has finished installing. So what we're going to do is next, uh, as you can see, it's installed these apps and whatnot. So reboot the device now. Which ends after a while. Um, usually it would usually boot, but as it's the first boot, you've got to just give it time. Right, so as you can see, it has just booted up, so I'm just choosing my network provider. So as I said, it's going to take some time to boot up, just let it, the boot animation will stop, and you'll have a black screen. Normally when you're, it's just the first boot, as it takes long, it's going to have a black screen, but from then on, you won't have a black screen, it'll basically go through it. So I'm just going to go through setup. Right, there we go, through setup and everything, so first I'm going to go into settings. So as you can see, V7.0, uh, LJ1, and it's a stock kernel. Get rid of that sound. There we go. Right, so I'll just go into the Play Store check what's up to date and what's not. 
There you go, you can see uh, Dropbox and Chrome could do with an update and Google Search. Right, so I'll let those update. And now I'll just go through um, the app. Well, as you see, there's hardly any apps included just simply because of um, me not uh, having them there. Um, as you saw in my, um, my settings. So I've got a very small selection of apps. But what's interesting is let's try and get multi view. There it is multi view. Let's see if it's going to. There we go. And as you can see in multi view, we've got all our apps, which is brilliant. Uh, whereas in stock 4.1.2, um, we don't have all these apps, but uh, over here we do. So this is all the apps that I've got, and um, what I recommend is that you guys customize it once you've uh, restored your Titanium backup, because all your apps will uh, refresh basically. So once you've done that, then organize your multi-view. Just to check if it works, I'm just going to go for, let's go, oh, wrong one. So what I'm supposed to do is this. And then let's go, I know which one, Music Player is definitely not included in that thing. So that's Music Player, there we go. And then I'm going to add the Play Store. I know the Play Store isn't included. So as you can see, the multi-view is working right there. Um, just check, I think, have I got, rota yeah, have I got rotation on? So you can see multi-view is working right there uh, with these two apps which are normally not included. If I'm not mistaken, they're not included. I could be well wrong. Uh, I know Super SU is definitely not included, so there you go. A super SU working perfectly fine and very fast um, and let's just full screen it, bang, rotation, bang, there you go. So um, I'm also going to uh, look at a couple of other things so I'm gonna go through switching off multi view right there that's good um, and we're gonna look at the extended power menu as you can see you've got the extended power menu, you've got your choices of hot boot download and recovery right there which is as it should be um, and then let's check CRT off is doesn't seem to be working if I'm not mistaken um, mu no music skip now this might be kinda hard to demonstrate but let's go for that So as you, as you can see, it's not skipping, it's just changing the volume. So as you can see, that option that I had uh, has come into play, including that no boot sound, as you as you could hear. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, please do rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, apart from that, there's no other extra features that I should be really showing you. Uh, I just thought to show you some of those things which are added and removed and whatnot. Um, and there's my internet, well, not my internet, my 3G data being sucked. Let's just get rid of that. So there we go. Right guys, take care. Bye bye.